Hey, what's going on, everybody? And happy Sunday to y'all. Uh, for all y'all that already know, I was at the Delaware State Open Chess Championship, and I actually did horrible. Very bad. <laughs> Yeah, y'all, it's just, uh, I played in the open section, so I played a lot of uh, strong players. Um, so I pretty much had one and a half, um, one win, one draw, and a rest loss. Uh, so the one I'm actually am going to show y'all, um, I'm going to show you the one where I played against the Fide Master. Um, it was a very good game. It was long. It was like the last one um, on the board at the time. Uh, it was getting very late. Um, he played as white. I played as black. Uh, so without further ado, let's actually get started. All right. So he played D4. I played E5. Of course, y'all. You know, the Dunce Gambit or the England Gambit, whatever y'all want to call it. Uh, he goes on uh, D catches E5. I go D6. Uh, he goes Knight F3, and I go Bishop G4. All right. So then he goes Bishop F4. I go knight c6, and he goes e captures d6. So then I go queen f6. So notice I'm threatening the bishop on f4, and I'm threatening a queen on b uh, or queen captures on b2. All right, so he defends with queen c1, defending this b2 pawn, and defending this um, bishop on f4. Um, so he actually go, or I actually go bishop captures d6. He takes, I take, and he decides to try to um, trade off queens. Um, I didn't want that, so I go queen e7. Now, the move I probably could have played was queen f6. I'm still putting pressure on the b2 pawn here and everything. That was that was an option, but uh, I didn't do that. I just went queen e7. Uh, he goes queen c3, hitting uh, the pawn on g7. Um, so I just castle queen side. Alright, when I castle queen side, he actually goes on um, knight b to d2. Now, obviously, y'all, I was giving up this uh, g7 pawn. Now, the whole reason why uh, him taking it would be bad is because of knight f6. Because of knight f6, uh, I'm threatening uh, queen b4 check and threatening uh, queen captain b2. And, of course, this rook is controlling this d-file and everything, and the king's still in the center of the board. So, it could get a lot dangerous uh, for white if he decides to try to be greedy and take the pawn, in which um, he actually didn't do. Which is why he went knight b to d2. Alright, and then I go knight f6. And he goes e3. And I go knight d5. Uh, again, I'm still offering the g7 pawn. The g7 pawn here. And um, he didn't take. He goes queen b3. And there's some tactics in here. So, like, if he would have chose to take on... Um, queen catcher g7. I had bishop catchers on uh, f3 first, and then if he takes with the pawn, I got knight catch e3 check. And then if he takes queen catcher e3 check, and then if bishop b2, queen catcher d2 check. And this would be a lot dangerous for um white in this position. Uh, I think um black is good in this position. And then if it was the other way around, if he decided to um take with the knight. I still got uh, queen b4, and if he decides to go, like for instance, c3, I still got queen catches b2, uh, threatening a rook, and then, um, you know, this knight coming in, and then his rook on his d5, it's, again, very dangerous for uh, white uh, to be in a position like this, alright, but of course, he didn't, the fitting master didn't fall for none of this stuff, he goes to queen b3, um, I go rook h8, which I think it was a better move, actually. I think maybe bishop e6 probably would have been better. Um, but I just felt like after c4, uh, I think white is still good. And he's not facing it, which is the reason why I didn't do it. Um, so, yeah, guys, I just go rook h8. Uh, he castles queen side. And then knight d to b4. And then a3. And then bishop e6. He blocks with bishop c4. And notice I can't go knight a5. Uh, I'm about to show you in a minute. Uh, I go knight b to d5. But the thing is, um, I can't go knight e5 because he takes a check. And then and then if I take back, then he automatically wins a minor piece. So that would be bad on my end. Which is why I went knight b to d5. 
So he goes queen a4, I go king b8, he goes bishop b5, and I go knight d to b6. And then he goes queen h4, trying to exchange all the queens and everything. Um, I decided not to do that, so I go queen c5, um, threatening this bishop. Uh, he takes, I take back, he goes knight d to e4, now he's threatening to back rank mace and stuff. Well, it wouldn't be me right here, but he's threatening to take um, my rook, it would be upper rook. So, because I saw this, I decided to go f6. Um, crazy for the engine telling me to uh, take this though. So, let's see, son. If I decide to take and river captures, so bishop c8. Okay, that 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 was a that was a move, whatever. But I didn't um, I didn't do that, y'all. I did not do that at all. So after knight e4, I go uh, six, and um, uh, he goes knight d4. So then I go. It's crazy though, c4. I actually goes queen d5. Um, that's actually where I went. So maybe this guy did miss the move, knight c3. That would have been a good move, but uh, he actually didn't do that. He, he actually wound up taking. Uh, I go queen catcher d6. Uh, he goes knight c3, uh, which is actually what I did. I went a6, which is what I did. And he goes queen g3. I actually go knight c4. And then when he did that, he won the pawn on queen catcher g7, and then I go queen d6. Um, he actually goes b3, and then I go... Uh, you know what, guys? That would have been an awesome move. See, I did queen a5. Guys, maybe I would have actually had this. I missed this one. I did queen a5. I did queen a5. Because when he took, I took, and then he went queen e7. That's literally exactly what happened. So now, y'all, if I would have did... If I would have did queen c5... I wonder if that would have worked. Yeah, because knight d1, if he take, he has to take, queen catches a3, king b1, but, yeah, he, he, even, even with this, this is still, um, it's still tricky, very tricky, y'all. Uh, but yeah, but that's actually what happened, y'all. Uh, he went queen e7. I decided to go c5, and then he goes on uh, knight b5. Obviously, I can't take this knight because of queen captures on d8. Uh, he checks me me like that, so that's the reason why I couldn't do it. So don't, I was kind of forced to go knight captures on a3. Oh, they said that move was um better knight d6. But he didn't do that move though. He just go knight catches a3. And um I go queen catches a3 check. He goes king b1. And then I just go queen a5. And then he goes um king catches f6. Uh I go a6. He goes queen catches a6. And then this is when everything just went downhill, y'all. Like, I, I was just losing after this. And then he just went queen f6. And then I went king a7. And then he went uh, queen f5. And then we was in time trouble or whatever. So we started writing uh, our notations down and stuff. But um, after this, man, this was all over. And I, I wound up resigning in this position. So, yeah, y'all. Uh, that's how the game went. Uh, I do want to give y'all a heads up though. Uh, 
playing the Dust Gambit, uh, it's a good open to play. Uh, if you're playing Blitz, like if you're in a Blitz tournament, like it's okay to play that. Especially if you're playing somebody that is like maybe 1400, um, 1900, honestly, maybe even uh, 2000, but not a Fide Master though. <laughs> it was a 22.99 or whatever. So. I mean, it's okay to play it because he was very uncomfortable and uh, he just managed to defend very well uh, in his game, as y'all can see. But um, if you're going to play it, you just got to, I mean, you really got to be strong in playing it or whatever. You got to prep your openings. You got to um, know your end games or whatever, especially your end games. Your end games got to be like. A top notch if you're gonna play gambit lines because a lot of times when you play gambit lines or whatever um half of the times uh, your your opponent that's higher in ranking is gonna defend very well and you're gonna need to uh, play in the end game and you're gonna have to win that end game either it's a win situ a win situation or a draw situation or if you're losing and you need a draw or whatever and you gotta learn how to do that so but that's why I'm saying when you play gambit it's, it, it's risky or whatever certain gambits are risky this gambit is definitely risky uh i played it with the best of my ability with everything but he just defended too too well uh there's a lot there was some moves that i probably should have played or whatever maybe it would have given me uh, some slight advantages i mean i had a slight advantage already he was uh, uncomfortable and um yeah he, he just managed to um to get through it so um so yeah, y'all. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please like, please share, please comment. You know, um, definitely I'll share your thoughts and ideas. You know, if y'all have any other um, tips on people that are um, playing in tournaments, please comment below. I most definitely do that. I'm gonna definitely let y'all know if y'all really trying to do like the tournament. I'm telling you, uh, tournament play is way different than online play. The tournament, when you have a longer time control, you know, uh, the pressure is on, you know, prize money is at stake, and, you know, your whole um, mental state is a lot different than you playing online. So, you just got to deal with uh, playing your game or whatever and not making your nervousness uh, mess you up or whatever. So, in order to prep for that, you know, the only thing I can really say is uh, playing more tournaments and whatever in order to uh, get better in playing tournaments but also strengthen your end game you know definitely prep yourself know your opening strengthen your um your end games like definitely um especially since my last round man um i could have lost but because uh, my end game was real tight uh, i managed to draw on my last round so but yeah it was crazy y'all but um uh, but yeah y'all um uh, definitely on like share um, comment, you know, do whatever y'all like, y'all, and, um, also, y'all, don't forget to subscribe, alright, y'all, peace, and I, I hope, I hope this helped, alright, y'all, peace.